We are playing a Breton, okay? And as you can see here in the settings, we are playing on Legendary because there is a few doubters who don't believe that I can actually play this on Legendary. When I say doubters, I think I seen like one comment the other day and that was it. <laughs> so we're completely dictating a series off of uh, this one person. And uh, I have played, I am playing a Breton because mages late game are a complete and utter new sense of the highest order and we're going to be focusing on certain smaller skills to level up until we get to the higher skills and the higher skills are going to be us basically casting magic at no cost that's the point i want to get to uh i am going to be skipping through this i just wanted to give a brief of what we're doing uh, this is completely vanilla, again, for like the one million time. I literally just finished doing the Helgen intro yesterday in Skyrim VR, and here we are again. Uh, all over again. I'm going to do the correct thing here, however, and choose the Empire. All right, and we're going to keep bum rushing uh, my man's dialogue so he can get our bindings off for us. So we can have free hands and get all the loot we need to get. So... Mages end up just being really, really annoying in the late game, and I'm sure everybody's aware of how annoying they can be because they've played this game. We are probably going to... It's going to be such a mixed match of skills, and the order we're going to go in, I'm not entirely sure. However, we also start with a Conjure Familiar because we will be doing Conjuration because you need companions to get through this difficulty at all. We are going to try and do all our damage from a distance. But having conjuration is going to be super handy. And when we do come across mages that are going to be a bit of a nuisance, we have dragon skin, which is going to be really handy. And then we already have a 25% resistance to magic with Breton, so that's pretty cool. Unless we eventually get the Savior's Hide or something, because I'm not sure if I'm going to use light or heavy yet. We will be doing stealth because it's just easier to do stealth and I probably will be starting with the illusion tree because illusion magic is super powerful and you don't want a power level at any point until you know you're powerful enough to power level and hopefully that makes sense <laughs> so with the grand scale of what we're doing I'm going to skip on and do this and then I will continue for when we get out of the cave we are outside which is a good start <laughs> We made it out. Uh, I did pick up the novice hood and the novice robes because we get, uh, I think it's like 30 extra magicka points with the hood uh, and 50% yeah regeneration with the robes because we're going to want a lot for the amount we're doing. I did put my first point into novice conjuration so we can, I've also favorited and numbered all my things that I personally like to use. Uh, so if you notice now when we cast it's not, it was taking our entire Magicka pool, now it's not taking nearly any of it, which is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore Hadvar, uh, because we do want to race to Riverwood before him. How I'm going to go about the main quest, I'm not sure, because I like, I really have not too many reasons to do it right now, because I'd like to avoid spawning dragons. Uh, they're going to be a little bit of a, a nuisance. I ignore all these quests, these are all the lovely Creation Club stuff. You all come to love and know. We are going to put our points into the Mage Stone. Because leveling magic skills can be the biggest burden uh, a human being has to endure. Ever. <laughs> and uh, I don't want to go through it. So I'm actually not going to do what I always do. And immediately go in and explore Ember Shard Mine. We're going to unlock it. I'm going to just level my Conjuration up. And we're just going to get a few more points out of this bandit. And uh, we're going to, yeah, kind of do it like this where you kind of just spam it because then they burn for like a couple of seconds after. And I think if you do damage to somebody while they're on fire, you do more damage. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some wolves here. So I probably should have looted that bandit, but we'll be back to do it anyway. Like having a companion is going to make the world of a difference when you're playing legendary because it is doable. Some people firmly believe you cannot play in legendary which is a hundred percent false you can play in legendary it's very difficult uh, it takes a lot of time and uh, thought into what you're going to do and it's going to take a lot of potions <laughs> that you're going to have to uh, spend some time getting 
And we will get to a point where wolves are getting one shot by us. Like it, it's not like this forever. It's just a lot of people don't know how to to get through legendary because there's not too many guides on it. And the damage values of what enemies do to you versus what you do to enemies is is huge. Uh, it, there's a colossal difference. And we still want to beat Hadvar to Riverward because we don't want to have to go through all that dialogue, you know, and having Riverwood's a good start. So I am going to try and branch out to give us a bit of a more unique path. And honestly, if... That's not Hadvar, is it? No, it's Feindle. And honestly, if you kind of want to follow along, feel free to. I mean, it's not too hard to follow what I've done already. I mean, I, I don't really didn't make this as a follow along, but I suppose if you want to, you can see yourself that uh, Legendary really does work. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong place. We're going to Alvor. And it's really nice just seeing Alvor alive for once, you know, because he's dead in my other playthrough. <laughs> okay, so once you're finished with his dialogue, you do want to take everything here that can be deemed useful because we do want to get money. And, you know, sometimes he has them uh, supplies for uh, yeah, potions and you really want to get a lot of potions, man. And honestly, it's not difficult to mass produce health potions i am going to show you how and stuff we are going to be utilizing the house and other stuff as i said i don't know what order we're going to do this thing because i haven't made a roadmap for myself and i'm going to be kind of just winning it as we go along but we do want to start off with the one advantage every person here wants and we're going to get ourselves a follower okay but what we're going to do is because i literally hate sven with a dying passion and if you do choose sven over Feindel. I hope you suffer. <laughs> Not really, that's a joke, okay? But we're going to help our boy Feindel because he can. we can exploit him for better archery and all that good stuff. And we're going to be a little love guru before we start doing things like killing the ancient first dragonborn and decimating long gone dragons. We're going to be a wee little message owl. So, cool. So now we already have a follower and we've barely even started. And what we're going to do is we're also going to get the golden claw. Bleak Falls Barrow is a wonderful first quest okay i know you can do other things but you have to understand how nice this quest is at the beginning this quest makes me sad because the rest of the game you know is it entirely like it and you know bleak force can be boring after you do it like you know 100 goddamn times but because we're great and we've bought we've gotten some pelts by killing things we are going to sell the few things we can we don't need wines of any sort or ales because we're not going to be focusing on regeneration for stamina. Sell poisons as well that we don't need right now. We can sell this imperial gear. And already we've uh, we've got ourselves about 200 gold. We have ourselves an outfit for, for casual majory. We've got a few spells and what we want to do though is we want to get more spells. Alright. So we're going to make Feindel follow us, and we already have a follower who is stuck in chopping wood. So Feindel will follow us when he's ready, so that's not a big problem now. Uh, I do want to get into Whiterun because Faringar is the closest person to us right now who sells more spells. But of course, we will need more money because books are not cheap at the beginning of the game. And we could do things like cook and all that crap, which we will be doing, by the way. Vegetable soup is a, a worthy companion on these adventures but man you know that refreshing feeling when you've just started out you know you're in a brand new playthrough and Feindel isn't following you because he's still chopping wood is he still chopping wood no here he comes no i see him <laughs> he's coming uh i'm just keeping the iron sword for backup because we do run out of magic very fast and there is some wolves up here oh i do want to go to ember shard mine actually so when i when i discover bleak falls we'll head straight to ember shard that's what we'll do and then we'll come back and do Bleak Falls because I'm pretty sure we can level up at least once more if we go to Ember Shard a few times anyway. Yeah, so as you can see, a wolf is literally killing us. Like, we really are not standing too much of a chance against uh, anything right now. <laughs> and when I come up here, usually I like to attack the bandits with archery because, uh, I mean, you get a really good vantage point when you come across them. But... I mean, our our distant fighting is probably going to be illusion magic because I haven't actually ever really done a character with it. I have used it and I have leveled it far, but I've never solely gone out of my way to do illusion as a whole. So, I mean, some of the spells are not like fear and courage are going to save our bacon uh, a lot. And we probably will do alteration as well. But as I said, magic is really hard to do in the start of the game because 
there's not a lot of it. <laughs> and as you can see, we really are not dealing any sort of damage here. So you want to be trying to dodge as much as possible. Get out of the way. Take and strip every bandit you come across at the beginning because we can sell all the stuff that they drop. Alright, so now we have uh, two bandits dead. And we're going to take everything he has as well. Because later we'll be enchanting gear anyway, so that'll be pretty awesome to do. And we actually don't have any magic potions right now. So we're better off just going this way. I nearly fell off. And we want to grab his body before he falls off because I want all his loot, of course. Oh, no, bandit. Please don't fall off. Okay, cool. So we have all his stuff now, too. And I think he was the one up here, yeah. So we're going to check all these for food and stuff because getting a lot of salt will be handy when we want to make stuff like roasted... Uh, Meat of cells of some sorts, anyway. Okay, and that's that little tower cleared. We still have a, a few more bandits to mess about uh, with up this hill. But we probably do want to be at least like level 3 or 4 before we do Bleak Falls because I don't want my magic to be running up that fast because there is going to be bandits. And the key with doing this difficulty is you are going to have to be patient for the majority of the beginning. And even though we've been lucky enough to not get killed yet, we probably will be. As long as you have companions, you should be fine at the beginning. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we're actually just going to use one-handed fire and try and deal more. When we hit them with fire, hit them when they're aflame and you should do more damage. I think that's how... I, I could have sworn that's how the spell worked, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, targets on fire take extra damage. So do a little thing like this and then hit them. And you'll be able to get through them quick enough, I'd say. But we are going to have a good bit more money by just clearing out this place. And if you just dodge like a little left to right. Now we do want to heal. Don't forget restoration will also be a very good friend of yours for this. Yeah, see there is a noticeable jump in damage. When, when we do a... It's actually a pretty decent amount when they're aflame. And I think we've only one more to go. Unless the guys have killed another one, which I haven't seen. Okay, so we're going to get a potion. Because sometimes you want to be really careful of uh, them catching you off with like a kill cam move. Because kill cam moves can screw you up, boys. But yeah, we have all these guys killed. We're still alive and we can come back to Bleak Falls. So this is a good opportunity to sell all the uh, loot you've got. So I actually did record all of Ember Shard Mine, but it like completely broke halfway through the footage for it. So... <laughs> Uh, you don't get to see me killing like everyone, which is whatever, but basically what you want to do is uh, keep using your uh, illusion spells and some other stuff and uh, uh, loot the entire corpses of all the bandits you encounter and strip them down because we're going to sell all this stuff back to Lucan, who now has like a thousand gold because we bought all the spells off and we're going to make it all back. There was a skill book here and all that good stuff, so, you know, getting all them and... I guess if you want to upgrade your stuff, go for it. We don't have the perk that lets us upgrade enchanted stuff, so we can't actually touch our robes, so we are stuck with them. But basically, I was making a point earlier where what you want to do is try and not bother putting points into health right now. That's what I'm not doing, because we're going to be using a bunch of stuff that's going to always have the enemy at a distance from us. So they're always going to be away from us. They're never really going to have the chance to come up close to us. And when they do, uh, we're just going to create more distance, which is... I guess the whole point of what I want to do uh, so I don't have to waste points on health even though we can just uh, do it with armor anyway uh, we can use armor to uh, keep ourselves alive if they do manage to get to us okay and we've looted all the everything I think so I guess this is the perfect time to leave because we are level three now and we can quite easily get to level four I think yeah it's now night time here so let's uh, just fast travel to Lucan Okay, I fast traveled and we waited a few hours, so everybody's open in their shops now and we can sell all the stuff. And we have a lot of uh, stuff. So I took all their weapons. The iron weapons don't sell for too much. However, the steel weapons do sell for a bit more. And like I said, see, individually selling stuff will, will level this up. We got a ton of armor. We did get some jewelry, and jewelry always sells super well. We have one piece of mead, and we'll sell all the jewelry we have here. Now, we will be doing soul gem stuff later. It's not really... There's no point in doing it now other than if you just want to level stuff up, because petty soul gems are not worth your time. But I am actually going to be selling my skill books as well. I'm not going to be keeping them. Even when we get a house, I'm not going to fill the library up with them because I don't really care that much. I'm going to be quite honest, but you can if you want. 
Uh, if you want to keep them, go for it. Uh, don't let anybody stop you. Now, we're actually going to go to a cave near Whiterun. Which is a lot smaller than Bleak Falls. Bleak Falls is long and we do want to be supplied for it. Uh, I would like to have a lot of healing potions, which we can make ourselves remember. And I would like to be at least level four or five. Because now while we can cast illusion and destruction magic uh, for half the thing, I probably would like to do it as well with alteration and maybe restoration as well, just to have the four of them. It would be cool if we could get to a point where we're doing more damage. See, we, we probably should be putting some points into weapons as well. But once we literally get enchanting, see, we can do what I'm kind of going along the lines of here is that I'm thinking I'm probably going to do the Azadil's quest in Solstheim. We're just going to need a ton of money for that, though, unfortunately. Is this a thief? Really? I've never had a thief spawn here. Walk away right now. Yeah, you need a pretty high uh, speech thing for these guys. Uh, we're going to do I'd rather die. He just put his weapon away. <laughs> He just put his weapon away, and now we're gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna get my oak flesh up. We'll start leveling up our, our thing, but thieves are... Uh th thieves have a lot of health, the thieves and assassins. Fandal is being uh, preoccupied by a... Wolf! This is great! We're just gonna keep doing this. We do have some health potions. We want to avoid that attack because that attack is going to do a lot of damage. But like I said, we have... we have potions. Uh, again, we want to be careful. It's already, but this guy should have a lot of. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! <laughs> you actually joking me? That was like a small pool of loot. Oh, for God's sakes! All right, cool. So we're into the cave with Ulfra the Blind, which is where I wanted to go, but. Now we're in trouble. I'm in a little bit of trouble here, boys. <laughs> Just a little bit. We could be utilizing our our ward here, but no, we are we are dying because Feindel and this goddamn wolf is in my way. Dear God, man. All right, we'll kill Mr. Ulfra the Blind first, and then we'll get rid of. See what I mean, man? That mage is ripping into us. He is ripping into us. He is. Oh, and he's draining all my magic as well. Do we have many healing potions left? Not really. And we want to be really careful here because Feindel's going to die soon. He's running out of health. So we want to like get rid of at least one more of these summon another one of these. Okay I actually think we're okay now. This lad has uh, oak flesh too. Oh, okay I wasn't paying attention to my health at all. Well, there you go boys the first death of legendary and there you know now uh, Now you know why uh, it's so important to come in prepared into these things But just look how fast their sh uh, their destruction magic kills us We don't want to hit Feindel here or we will kill him. Yeah, Feindel's dead again man. Healing hands is going to be super handy We really want to get healing hands. My problem was I didn't kill this guy fast enough last time. And then this guy here is doing considerably more damage than the other ones. Yeah, so I think we should just tactical retreat for now and hope this guy doesn't follow us out. Yeah, we'll just wait an hour, let our stuff come back in and we'll head back on it. Fainal will still be inside I think. And then we'll try and level up our alteration a bit more. And uh, just try and level up our destruction a bit more. Get a familiar out. Tactical retreat again. We'll wait an hour again. I'm pretty sure this guy's gonna be full health though and that's the problem with doing this. I don't think this is the same guy. No, no, never mind. I think he's dead here somewhere. Yeah, they had a book, but we don't want that book. We want this circle. Yeah, that must be him here. Yeah, that's him here. He got killed. All right, well, that's not bad. So that's uh Okay, we really need to be careful about hitting him because if you hit Feindel, he will die. Is that them all dead now? All right, man. Healing is taking a ridiculous run. So we, we died twice for that. But this is how a lot of it's going to go if you come underprepared. This is why you want to have an absolute colossal amount of potions because then you can just spam use them and we're going to be doing that anyway they're not going to be good potions because we're really low alchemy skills so they're not going to be the most powerful and we probably will have to spam them and when i say spam create i really can't stress by spam create we're gonna have to make a lot of but again this is just smaller than bleak falls and this is why i wanted to do it because it's easier to get and at the beginning you want to get through the easy places before you go to the hard places we're going to let this wolf out because he's going to help us kill these guys. Because they're going to be a bit of a nuisance to kill otherwise. Uh, I am going to cast Fury in one of these guys. We're going to do a little bit of one-handed here. And again, we want to be careful because we are dying again. Again, but we want to get rid of the bandit because Archery Man for some reason does a ton of damage when done by the enemies. And this guy is just not attacking us. This is a mega delayed response. <laughs> but I'm totally okay with this. I think they killed the wolf. 
I presume they didn't. No, he is right next to me. There he is. We're going to let him run up and do his thing. Because this specific wolf has a lot more health than all the other ones. And I can't remember if he turns and attacks us. But uh, I'm going to attack him anyway. Because just any reason to get our skills up, you know. Just try and dodge left and right here while we get some Magicka back. The problem with kill cams, man, is if they're shooting you, that will hit you like 9 times out of 10. And you're just going to take free damage because the game forced you to stand still. Okay, I think all we have left now is the real really difficult boss outside. My god, man, we really did get a lot of food from this and a lot more ingredients to use. Although I don't think the ingredients are we didn't really get much blister word and we actually don't have any at all, I'm pretty sure, cuz blister word is what we want. Okay, this is Mr. Big Boy here, so uh, we want to be very careful here. I'm actually pretty sure if we walked in circles like this, no, he heard us. Never mind. <laughs> he heard us. So we're going to oak flesh cuz he has seen us now and uh we're going to summon a familiar and we're guess we're just going to hit him with a bit of flame he is going to have a lot of health here unfortunately and we are already out of magicka so i'm going to already check what loot we have here there really isn't anything we can utilize here honestly man i wouldn't like talk entirely against using some of the other standing stones like the that i, I can't remember which one it is it gives you like one paralyzed a day and stuff because some of them are great but two shots from this guy and we're gone like immediately so that should tell you how powerful some of the enemies in this game are and that was with oak flesh on by the way so maybe this wouldn't be a bad time to start using a bow just to get some extra output damage out while we distract him although we really aren't doing anything here at all like <laughs> this is basically non-noticeable this damage <laughs> like dear god we are actually doing nothing just this is how strong enemies are in this game man and now he's put himself in a position that's going to be really hard it's going to be really hard to work around here and i should have actually used my power earlier when we were fighting when we were fighting Thinny. Could we actually... If we can get one of our skills up here again, we can level up. And we'll be able to destroy him. I'm pretty sure. We just want to keep him off him long enough to get enough Magicka back for another familiar. Alright, we're going to make a save here just in case. Oh, did we level up? That's him dead. See? <laughs> Not that bad. Not that bad. But this is what I mean by an absurd amount of patience. So we're actually going to loot him because I'm not letting his loot get away. Because he has really good loot. He has the Iron Hand Gauntlets. Which gives us way better hits with two-handed. Uh, of course, that's not useful for us because we're not doing two-handed. But we can disenchant it to use it. And that's the key thing to take away from this, right? Is the fact that we can disenchant it. The fact that Feindel spawned immediately there is actually one of the scariest things I think a man can witness. <laughs> is the fact that he was up not a couple of seconds before that. The only reason I'm using one of these standing stones is because we uh, get faster. We learn way faster how to use magic abilities because, again, using magic abilities is an extremely grindy process except conjuration conjuration isn't actually that bad an alteration isn't too bad either i will say i do i do completely think conjuration would be the easiest so we're going to spawn our own familiar and just practice uh, some more flames until we level up which we did because bretons don't have a advantage in destruction unfortunately so it's not one of their key skills to use we actually should have saved this for the necromancer fight up ahead that was a mistake on my behalf. We are still not at 28 Conjuration. We are at 21 Illusion, so that won't be bad. But where are we going to go first on Illusion is what I want to know. Animage is Illusion spells that work on higher level animals. Cam spells. See, Cam will be super cool to have when we get it, man. For now, I'm going to put this first point into Restoration. If all we're using for a while will be healing. Uh... I'd like, yeah, I would like our magic to not be, like, instantly running. That would be super cool. We can get Animage, however, the next two points I'm probably going to put into the beginning of Illusion, because not using weapons is difficult, as I have stressed and shown a ton of times here. So we are going to fight the skeleton here, and all of here, so we're going to try and Fury. He'll probably ward this off. Yep, yeah, so we Furied him. Can we Fury yet? No, Skeleton Resistant Fury. I thought that. I was like, yeah. Look at this man. What? Isn't that just insane? What's the death count? Has somebody been keeping track? Oh god, run spell, run spell, run spell. Feindel, where are you? This is why I like... We are not going to be using Feindel for Lawn Man because he is just not useful. <laughs> His long range nature just does not help us at all. Honestly, I'm going to get a little desperate here and say that the Iron Sword isn't working out. However, the Steel War Axe is a lot stronger, aka two points, and two points is a lot in this game. Yeah, so 
That's way more noticeable than the iron sword. And we want to be careful of the archery. And we want to utilize the flames side effect. If we could get to level 6 really soon, that would be cool. That would be super cool. We have a bunch of stuff to sell to Lucan when we go back to him as well. Fane does not low on health either yet, so that's actually not too bad. Did we get the second skeleton? Oh, he's actually really low! Okay, cool. I forgot he was a novice, but we're actually still leveling up way faster than I want to, man. Okay, his robes are actually way better than ours, I think. Yeah, our robes do 50%, but his is 75%, so we're actually going to wear the necromancer robes. Now, the ritual stone it lets us reanimate nearby corpses to fight for them once a day that honestly wouldn't be bad but the thing is i do want to level up that is my only problem with not getting that is so we will probably do the ethereum crown pretty early on not early on enough that i have to go and fight falmer because we can't fight falmer until we have a little bit of broken on our side falmer are one of the hardest opponents to fight in this game unfortunately that doesn't change <laughs> even on novice they're difficult to fight man when you go to them too early that's just the nature of them they're high level enemies there's a slaughter fish there i think i'm going to go and unlock these two farms just so we have them to go to you know oh do catch your blue butterfly wings when you get the chance they will be very useful later just trust me and wheat is going to be your best friend for health potions man so any chance you get to to collect wheat don't sell it to the farmers for the money keep it uh we are actually going to head to white run now just to have it because having our first city is going to be nice because once we have one city we have them all that's the general consensus since we have access to a carriage i mean you can try and help here but i am not doing the companions anytime soon if at all for the playthrough i have no intention of doing it there's really no reason to get involved in this fight Okay, we have the stables. I really don't need to go in yet because we still have Luke in the use. But the thing is, once we get to a point where we're selling... Okay, the Kishi caravans are actually here. That's not too bad. We nearly died. We nearly died. Okay, so we've actually got this little quest from Resad on the bandit attacks along the road. That's a cool little thing to get some money. So we're actually going to see what he has. Uh, he doesn't really ever have things we need for uh, spells, but we can sell all the crap we've garnered here, which is the main thing. Uh, all the random stuff you've picked up that you don't want to use. I honestly just advise selling petty soul gems. Unless you want to spam conjuration and use them for your own reason. But I really don't recommend using them. They truly are not worth at all. Uh, we're going to sell this. And we're going to sell the pot healer. And we're going to sell this other random stuff we picked up. Because we have a lot of armor. We don't we do keep the Iron Hand Gauntlets. Uh, disenchant and the Novice Robes. Because we can disenchant them. And level ourselves up a little bit. Uh, I am going to sell the bows. I have literally no use for the bows. And we're going to keep the axe. You can sell these arrows. I mean they don't get you anything. The steel arrows do. But they're just not worth keeping. So we've actually. There we go. We now have 1,992 gold. All, which is close to the first bit of amount we're going to need to do. Um, oh the dude. Uh, the guy who's digging down for Azadal's quest. begins are because he'll ask us for gold over and over again so we'll get this dialogue out of the way uh, persuade it increases your speech a bit which is what you want so yep see we got our speech up anyway you basically are guaranteed a speech point there if you come here early always and now we have uh white run discovered and a whole new access to quests and other stupid crap we can do to level up there's a lot of miscellaneous and side stuff we could do here i'd like to not accidentally kill people i can't afford to we're going to grab amran's quest here because he'll send us to one of the easiest bandit places uh, no okay it was going to be one of the easier bandit places it's usually halted streams camp up north but redoran's retreat's fine as well it's like the smallest place or dungeon in the game you can go through. And we're going to have Dragon Reach because Farangar's in here and has a bunch of stuff for us. And I'm coming for you later. Recording at 60 frames per second seems to be... I don't know what's... My GPU is running into some really bad trouble. So if throughout the footage it seems like parts are skipping or aren't in line with what I'm saying... Uh, forgive me. I've only noticed it now and I can't seem to fix it now. It just keeps cutting out my... I, I can't explain this. causing a bunch of problems. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and make the best of what I've done here because I've been like running into problems recording this for like two and a half hours now while trying to get all this footage and I'm like you know I'm not giving up now but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start a new character on my PS4 and I'm going to use my capture card to do this thing from now on because obviously this PC thing just isn't working and I'm uh, my GPU obviously is just not powerful enough and uh, I'm not going to old room so that's I'd like it's 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 fine for me like it's not going to be any big change other than maybe a cap in frames but I really don't don't want to have to record everything in 30 
and it look up you know you know what i mean but i'm gonna leave it at that i'd like to thank all of you who did watch for watching and uh, i appreciate all your support and liking and all that crap and i hope you did enjoy this for what it is and that we will keep going and see what we can do from there but i'd like to thank all my sponsors of the channel uh mr borlifer google finner the icelandic name i cannot say zachary fluke vid begonia the one and only dree staz uh Shaz, Philo Baggins, Nilanor, Nicholas, Mufa, Monster Knight, Monkey, Mike, Michael, Lilu, Lori, Lady Macbeth, Jerome, Jar Jar, and Saint Jack, G Daddy, Emu, Ellen, Dylan, Daniel, Chloe, Chevron, and Caius. I do appreciate everybody's support. I am might sound a little tired and down. I'm just really tired of running into this problem with my videos, and it ends up being so much harder to record them than it's worth. So I'm just going to except that I will probably just have to use the PS4 version because at least I'll get smooth footage and my audio will work so I'm pretty happy. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.